Hi guys, uh, it's been a while since I did a video. I think I'll probably do some more now. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to do just a brief video as a product endorsement. Okay, I'm going to show you something here. This is a new uh, Iwata air compressor. I saw it on um, reviewed on our international scale modeler and uh, I think it was it wasn't Lee it was the other guy there anyway he said that it was great you know he unpacked it and showed it to you and everything and then I was a little bit when I looked it up I was a little bit put off by the price at first but I recently bought this on eBay uh, for $579 shipping included and it's a beauty this thing is just so well designed this big hoop handle here this is the tank that and here the uh, braided steel uh, airlines um, it I'll turn it on for you doesn't take very long to charge up there it's charged now the other thing I like is the uh, control the air control it's a lot more precise and better made than the one you get with that cheap Chinese uh, compressor. I, I got the one that costs like 200 bucks or something. I put that out in my garage. I'll use that for my heavy spraying and uh, like priming and things like that. But this is going to be my compressor that I'll use for fine detail painting, camouflage patterns, etc. Um, anyway, I just wanted to tell you I, I just unpacked it, just set it up, and it works like a champ. I haven't tried it with uh, airbrushing, but I'm sure as long as the pressure says it's 15 pounds, it'll spray like it's 15 pounds. And I won't have to spray at the heavy. Uh, the, the other one, the air regulator, just wouldn't go down that low, you know. So I had to spray it like 25 pounds, and I was getting a lot of overspray. Um, that's about it. So, uh... See you guys soon, and uh, I'll show you some of the models I've been working on. And uh, just a spoiler alert, they're going to be tanks. Okay? Bye.